Hello everyone, um, welcome to episode 169 of the Lost Office podcast. I'm your host, Soul, and today we'll be doing a special podcast on Nintendo's latest new IP, Splatoon. Yes! Uh, yeah, I'm joined by Spider Staryu. Spider Staryu, hey! Spider Staryu. <laughs> um, and we're going to be talking about Splatoon, which is a first-person shooter that Nintendo's delves into that's a little different from the rest of uh, first-person shooters out there. It's mainly focused on uh, Turf Wars, which is covering uh, the stage around you in ink, but there's a lot of different mechanics uh, within it, such as you could swim as a squid through your ink, but you have to avoid the enemy's ink and also cover it over to win the game, and etc. Um, one of the main focuses of Splatoon is the weapons itself, so there are rollers, chargers, and shooters, but the question is, what weapon class and weapons specifically do you prefer? Um, in this case, for me, I prefer the shooters themselves, but there are two weapons that I kind of like the best. One of them is the .52 gallon deco, which has seekers and the ink strike, which are really fun to use. I'm really good at killing with it. And the other one is the, which I haven't used that much, but it's called the uh, Tentatech Splatter Shot. And the Tentatech Splatter Shot is one of the earlier weapons you get in the game, but it's pretty much a better version of the standard Splatter Shot. Um, and it's okay. I, I like, it has better range than the 5, 1.52 Gallon Eco, so that's always a plus. Um, Alright, for me, my favorite is the rollers. I love all rollers. Um, I like the normal roller, but my favorite roller is the Kraken. Is where you turn into a kraken once you get all once you get that meter filled up. Um, I also do like some shooters though. Like I do like the fifty-two gal. Um, I don't. I don't. I never really use the deco, but I assume it's awesome because it has the I, the uh, ink strike, which yes. that's the best. Um, but you know, I like that weapon very much because it has it causes a lot of damage. You're right. You when you shoot at one of your opponents, it only takes a few shots to get them dead, kill them, annihilate them. So my favorite shooter is fifty-two gallon, but overall I'm I just I'm in love with the roller class. Um, yeah, I, that's the ink strike is very handy. Um, not so much useful for turf war because usually enemies can cover it up, but it's uh, better for spot zones. Yeah. But um, another major thing for Splatoon is aside from its major focus on online play, there is a single player campaign mode, um, which focuses on five worlds that to defeat the Octarian army who have stolen the great zapfish which is the power source for power source for Incopolis oh so you Lord. must go you must go below ground and defeat the Octarian army um so the question uh for the two of us is have you finished single player mode and how did you like single player mode um as for me I did play single player mode and I did actually finish it and um it's Really fun. I think it stopped a little too short. Uh, there are like 26 levels, and I think there should have been, I mean, let's say 40-ish. 50 is too much, but I mean, 26 is short, because if, once you finish it, you realize they could have, I think there should, you might think, hey, there should have been a little bit more levels. Um, but the bosses themselves are really good. The final boss is unique, to say the least. I think it's probably a, a, quite an unexpected boss. Um, it's really hard, especially with the amiibo challenges, where you can use a splat, a splat roller and a splat charger. Really hard to play. Um, when you play it with in normal campaign mode, you'll see. Um, I did not complete the single player mode. Um, I'm only I, I'm still in world one. I didn't really play too much of it. If you're wondering why? It's because I've only been on Wi-Fi mainly. You know, I, I've been just doing that Wi-Fi. You know, turf wars. You know, that's a lot of fun, so that's what I've been doing mainly. And, you know, Splatoon is more of a fun game when you're playing with other people. So multiplayer is the way to go. Single player, I will be playing it more, like, later this week and whatnot. Um, but, yeah, I'm only, like, at, I'm in World 1. I did, like, a couple levels. I, I think I'm, like, at level 5 or 4 or something like that. Uh, yes. One, um, sorry. 
Uh, speaking of splat zones, or turf wars and splat zones, uh, one of those, that's the major uh, gameplay tactics that we've had online. Turf war is a regular battle that's not ranked. It's the standard mode of play where basically you cover as much territory as you can with your color ink. And splat zones is a mode of ranked battle that um, has you try to take over designated areas of a map um, with your ink and not let the other people take it. Um, this mode is much more heavily focused on kills. I think all ranked battles are, um, and I'm much more favorite. But the question is, do you enjoy Turf War or Splat Zones better? And as I just said, I like Splat Zones better because I'm very, very good at killing people. Like, don't mean to sound arrogant, but I mean, I'm no. good at Splat Zones. I can, I have a, but point... 5-2 gallon deco is the one I really like. Uh, there's another weapon called the jet squelcher. Or no, no. The dual squelcher, that's very handy for it as well. A little harder to use because its sub-weapon is simple and not so good at uh, getting people. But if you can, if you have the right map or area, it's also very handy. I like it on Salt Spray Rig to be particular. Um, For me, I like Turf Wars better. Alright, I'm just overall better at Turf Wars. You know, I'm good at shining through, you know, clock and tea, whatever the case is. Um, Splat Zones, you know, they're fine. It's not it's not a boring mode or anything like that. It's just Turf War overall I do better in, so that's why I like to play that more. Um, yeah, but for Splat Zones, let me just say this. Let me give you a piece of advice to you children, you children, you little kitties. Um, do not be using no damn roller on Splat Zones because, you know, I'm not saying you'll automatically lose. Of course not, you won't automatically lose, but it is harder for you to win and succeed and do well overall when you're using a roller in Splat Zones. At least with the giant roller. I don't know how the paintbrush is in, roll in Splat Zones, but, you know, for me, you know, just rollers overall in Splat Zones, that, that's just a tip. Tip from Uncle Staryu, you know, just don't be using no damn rollers in Splat Zones. I... I, I can't even use rollers in general. I, I'm not even that good at the uh, ink roller, or ink roller, ink brush. But uh, continuing on um, with the Splat Zones and the Turf Wars, I'd like to mention as well that um, ranked battles are actually not only having Splat Zones, there's something else called Tower Control, which is weird to explain, but if you, if you search it up, you'll probably see a little clip of it. We don't know when it's coming out, but um, considering there's a lot of DLC coming up, uh, we might get it, and that leads us to our next question. Um, there, uh, Nintendo has had Splatoon take a unique approach with DLC because a lot of it has been coming out recently, and a lot of it almost seemed like it was originally supposed to be in the first version of the game, the one that you'd buy off the shelf when the game first came out. Um, some, some maps that we've seen are available to play in single player as campaign missions, which um, is unique in and of, of itself, and some of these maps have been seen in trailers and promotional artwork along with weapons, and yet we haven't been able to play as them, and we won't be able to for a little while. Um, so the question is, bum, 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 uh, thoughts on all these upcoming DLC characters and stuff like that? Um, so my thoughts for this is, I, I'm really just confused on why they did this, especially considering that we've had ranked battles which were promised to come out later, but they came out a week or three days or so, maybe, after the game came out. I think that's a stretch, but still. And then the ink brush and um has came out two weeks after the game just came out. The um one of the maps came out as well ra rather recently, uh Mackerel or Port Mackerel. So it's just a little confusing why they did this if they're not waiting that long. I, I was probably because they didn't expect it to be so popular and considering how it almost completely sold out in Japan and it's one of the fastest grossing games Nintendo's had for a while. So, um, I, I think it's just clerical error, or not clerical error, error, but just prediction error on their par part just like they did with Amiibo because nobody has amiibo now because everyone bought them all up yeah not leaving any for us people i didn't get one wave for amiibo not one i didn't I got get one splatoon, splatoon amiibo i didn't even get I, one i got those i got the three pack but that's it oh well you're lucky yeah um <laughs> well we're talking about dlc stages and stuff like that um 
Uh, I think the reason why they split everything up like the way they did is because they want people to get used to certain stages and not just have everything out automatically so there's nothing to look forward to and things like that. Like, you know, we have stages like Arowana Mall, Black Billy Skate Park, and things like that, Salt Spray Rig, and things like that. Well, I'm pretty sure that for other stages, like the new ones, like, you know, Port Mackerel, which recently came out, and things like that, I'm sure they didn't want everything to be released simultaneously so that everyone could get used to a certain stages first. Because if everything's already out, like, all the stages are there, you know, it's going to be a little bit confusing, like, oh my god, okay, wait, there, there, here's a stage... Um, Camp Triggerfish, or I have to get used to this. Oh, but there's another stage coming out called Kelp Dome. Oh my god, I got used to that. Like, it's like, too many at once will confuse some people. So I'm glad that they're doing it, like, you know, slowly releasing new stages as time goes on, so that, you know, people will get used to all the stages. Unless you're buying the game late, then yeah. you're just gonna have to wait, and <laughs> you're gonna have to wait, and you have to get used to all the stages have to immediately. Get used to them all at once. <laughs> um, but also, there's like, you know, also DLC with, like, you it's... know, the weapons and things like that like you know the nes yes. the any NES, what's, yeah. what's it called what's it called the nes zapper the n zap the n zap 86 or something like that i thought it was the 85 it's, it's the it's the gun from like duck hunt uh, duck hunt games like that but they they have the black version that's out now with the ink mine and echolocator i believe and then they're having the an orange model coming out later called the NZAP 87. Oh yeah, the NZAP 85 is the black one, and the orange one's the NZAP 87, both of which were Nintendo products. Not called that, of course, but uh, the, that one, we don't know what the sub-weapon and special weapon are, but I hope they're better, because I don't like the Where's the N80, N, NZAP or 86? Like, there's the, 85, there 87? No well, there was the black model that came out in 85, 1985, and then there was the orange model that came out in 1987 to make it more toy-like, but there wasn't anything in 1986, oh, apparently. Oh, okay, well, you know, they're releasing new things, and they released the ink brush re recently, which me and Sol are getting used to, you know. Yeah. We're, we're trying our best, you know, it's a little bit different. To. It's a little bit different but than most rollers, but, you know, it's, it's, I like that it's different. Or it's, it's, a change, it's a change of pace. So, you know, I like that. You know, I, I just like what they're doing with the DLC, and I hope that, you know, they keep, you know, releasing new weapons. Like, you know, um, another thing that we're going to get into, which um, I don't, I'm sorry for taking so much time, Soul, but um, <laughs> rumor has it, apparently, there's a big rumor going on that the Flood from Super Mario Sunshine is going to be a weapon in Splatoon. Ooh. Um... This has actually been a long-suspected thing, uh, since the game has slight similarities to Mario. In fact, I think it originally was a Mario game. Um, there was this strange leak, per se. Not really a leak, because we don't think it, no one th thinks it's real, but it was this picture of a model of Mario holding, or having on Flood, and it was like Splatoon cross Super Mario Sunshine, and it was supposed to be DLC. And while I don't think, if it's, it, it, it's more than likely fake because it looks like Mario would be a character and there's no way you can use Mario to swim in ink unless he has some weird squid flower power up, which I would love to see, but, um, for the game. So, I think, I think most people already suspected that Flood, the weapon from Super Mario Sunshine, um, would be a wep a weapon in Splatoon because it's a unique little, um, Pack or whatever jetpack contraption, because, contraption. Yes, um, I, I. It'd be a weird shooter, especially since it's on the back. Like I don't exactly know what weapon it would be, but I, I, I bet they're having. I don't think this is real. Of course, that deal, that picture is probably not real. But perhaps they'll have something Super Mario Sunshine inspired. Because I mean, having a shooter on your back is a little weird unless your Splatoon's hunched over. But then that would involve making new models or new animations for the Inklings, and that could just be a whole ordeal. Yeah. So I'm assuming they're just going to have a Flood shooter, not the actual Flood model. What I think is, I, I of course I think it's fake. Like, you know, it's just like someone went on, they, they went on Photoshop, they, you know, they got the model, increased the polygons, whatever the case is, they just, you know, they were editing the model, and they just put this whole image together because I don't think it's real. I do think that they will probably, maybe if they're if they if they want to like you know keep Splatoon current, release like bigger DLC like where they will release a Flood as DLC for the game. I don't know yeah. for sure if they will do that, but I I'm suspecting that they might. And if not, 
you know, hey, there's always Splatoon 2 if that ever happens, you know, like, th that's an option. But, you know, I do think that they might do something with it in the future, because I don't see them not doing it, because it's just, it's too perfect to not do it for Splatoon. Like, it, it, it just, it'd be awesome. Everyone would be like, all the Super Mario Sunshine people who are like, oh my god, nostalgia, nostalgia, nostalgia with Super Mario Sunshine. They're going to be, like, all over Splatoon. They're going to be like, oh my god, look, the flood's in Splatoon. They're, they're going to get the game then. So, I'm just saying, I think that that's what they're going to do. They could probably have, like, uh, similar to what Mario Kart 8 did, they could probably just do a little pack. Yeah. Like Super Mario Sunshine pack, which probably was what that picture was alluding to. Maybe we'll, I mean, we definitely, I don't think we'll have, I mean, if we have a map, I hope it's, plaza delfino or whatever it's called oh that'd be plaza. so cool because <laughs> i mean first of all if you play that game that actually would be a somewhat fitting map i mean they'd have to add little things to like hide behind and stuff they'd have to alter it some what but i'd, I'd actually hope yeah. they'd stay as true to the original plaza delfino uh format as possible because it is very twisty turny and stuff like that i think it would be fun to play in I also think that it would be fun to play on. You know, with, with Super Mario Sunshine, there's so many options. You know, Del Delfino Place, like, there's just so many places to go, so many things to see. It would just be really awesome. I really hope that they at least consider it. The team, I, I just hope that the team at least considers it as an option because, you know, I think a lot of people would go bonkers over this stuff. They're already going bonkers over Splatoon, but why not make them go even more bonkers? But yeah, that's just what I think. Um... As for me, uh, or not as for me, the next question is as followed. Which maps are your favorite? Because the big thing in Splatoon is maps. Um, there are six maps currently out right now. Uh, Arowana Mall, Black Boy Skate Park, Salt Spray Rig, Urchin Underpass, Port Mackerel, and uh, Wall Eye Warehouse. And there are um, some stages coming out later, such as I think we mentioned Camp Triggerfish. Um, that's one of them which was heavily um, shown in trailers previously, but it's not out yet. Um, but And it's definitely finished. We know it's finished. But of these maps, what are your favorite? Mine are uh, specifically Urchin Underpass because that's so fun to play on, I think. Probably one of the best for me. Um, but I also like um, Arrow on a Mall because it's visually appealing. It's a little hard to play on, I think. I think... Because it's a very narrow stage, and Urchin Underpass is a wide open stage. But it's it's if you're good at it, you're good at it. So I kind of like it. Um, I also like Black Belly Skate Park because it's it's another harder one to play on, but it's a wide open one, unlike Arowana Mall. But um, this one has a lot of paths to take, and oftentimes people don't realize there are certain paths to take, and so you can like sneak around and splat somebody from behind. It's also a really fun one to play on splat zones in particular because of that central tower in the middle of it so it, it's exciting to uh play on okay my favorite map Sing favorite it. favorite uh, that's not i'm not it's not like i pronounced it wrong uh, my favorite map is definitely port mackerel um very easy, very good one for people who use the roller weapon. You know, it's just it's a straight path, just go on that straight path, cover as much land as you can. You know, just very simple, very easy, very straightforward. Um, my second favorite is Salt Spray Rig. You know, it's a different, it's pretty different in design than compared to most of them. So you know, it, it's different. I like different. Di 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 I can't even pronounce the damn word. Di 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 differential. I I can't pronounce that differential. word. Differential. Yeah, the, there, there we go. What's Soul said? I don't know what it is. I don't even know. It di dif differentiate something like that. It, it's that's even like a word. That. If it's that's even a word, <laughs> oh, I'm so embarrassed. Um, but um, the ones I don't like, which no offense, Soul is Urchin Underpass. I cannot oh. stand that map. All right, because that map is really ghetto. Because I always play with people who just don't know what they're doing. Every time I play Urchin Underpass, I never do bad specifically. It's that. It's that my freaking my teammates they just suck. They don't know how to they don't know how to play on that map. And then of course when when the opponents start covering everything, they make it harder for you to you know get your advantage back. So like they're just like you know like I'm just like oh my god no. And then they just get you and it's like oh, so freaking annoying. 
that was very... It was really, um, really accurate. It was like an act Full of onomatopoeia. Yeah. Um, I feel like I'm getting damn super soaked. Which that... Super soak. We'll mention that later. Um, it's just r- rambunctiousness. And also, I also don't really like Black Belly Skate Park too much. Just because Tears. the curved landscape is kind of awkward. But, you know... I, I don't hate Urchin Underpass. I don't hate Black Billy Skate Park. I'm just saying, compared to the other maps, they're not exactly my favorite. Just throwing that out there. I'm gonna cry. No, okay, um... So, a, another question is actually... I guess it's kind of like a wide-spanning question. But, um... What are your thoughts for the Splatoon series in general? Like, what? how do you see... What, what do you want to, it to take on in the future? Because a lot of first-person shooters often even have yearly increment or inclusions to the series of games. And while I don't see Nintendo doing that with this game, um, do you think gonna, there's going to be a Splatoon 2? How long do you think Nintendo will hold out with this original game? Or do you even think Splatoon will be a series, etc.? Um, as for me, I hope that there's eventually a new Splatoon game, but worth a spl- new Splatoon game. Because Nintendo is really good at that, making a new game in the series very unique compared to its previous installments, especially with games like Mario Kart or, of course, Super Smash Bros. Um, both of those games are key examples of uh, newness in a series. I would like for, if they do Splatoon, they should do the similar thing because, I mean, maybe new maps and I would love a new weapon class, uh, but per I, I really hope that would take it in such a direction that it still feels like the normal Splatoon, you know, swimming, inking, climbing up walls, uh, territory battles, stuff like that. But something new enough to change the formula, but not annoy everybody who's played the original game. Whoo! Jesus in heaven! Um, oh my god. So, what could happen for Splatoon in the future with the success? Well, do I think that there will be a uh... Future for what is the future of the series? Pretty much, um, hmm, Splatoon two. Hmm, I don't really know if that's gonna happen. Um, but you know, Splatoon is so big; it's gotten so big; it's just gotten so, such praise that it's kind of hard for me not to see Splatoon expanding in the future. You know, and I think for now they're probably just gonna expand the lifespan of this Splatoon by you know doing DLC. You know, whatever the case is. You know, just I imagine. I imagine in future games, they're going to add different, new different modes. Always going to have the Turf War thing. That's always going to remain in the series. Um, I think they're going to do different modes. Um, new weapon types. Maybe Super Soaker. Huh? Oh. Huh? Yes. Super Soaker. Super Soaker. Sponsored by Nerf. Yes. Like, Nerf could, like, get in on this. Like, that. who doesn't want to use a damn Super Soaker? That'd just be so inktastically wet. Inktastic, incredible, incredible, incredible. Yes, yeah. it'd just be perfect. So, I think that you know, I think the series, I think the the future of the series, it's gonna be, it's very bright, it's looking very bright. Uh, they're gonna, I know they're gonna do different things as time goes on. And I, yeah, I just think that the series is definitely gonna be a new great IP from Nintendo. So I'm, I, you know, I think they did a great job with this game. You know, hats off to the developers and things like that. And, you know, um, just quick little thing for you kitties who don't have the game yet, and you're just wondering, like, you know, should I get the game, whatever the case is. Um, I think that this is the type of game that you need to play to, like, get. You know, you have to play to understand it and to appreciate it. So if you did not play the demo, when that, when that whole mess was going on, oh my god, oh Jesus. But if you didn't play the demo... I recommend that if you have a friend, you know, go over to one of your friend's house. If they have the game, he or she have, has the game, go over to their house and play the game and give it a chance. Because I definitely think that Splatoon is one of those games where you can't watch it and say, like, oh, my God, I really want to play it. I really want to play it. I really want to play Like, to me, it's not one of those games. It, it, Splatoon is not a game you watch. It's a game that you participate in. You know, you have to play it to get it, to understand it. So I definitely think that for you people who don't have the game... Go over to one of your friends' house and give it a try. And if you don't like it, you know, fair enough. That That's fair enough. At least you gave it a chance. But I definitely don't think that you're going to really fully understand it and enjoy it if you're just watching. Like, because otherwise... I remember for the longest time when all these Splatoon things were coming out, like the advertisement, things of that nature. Like, I was just like, 
this game is so boring. I don't care. Oh, yeah, you have to cover things. Like, oh, oh that's okay. But it's like it's just not that interesting. But once I actually play the game, yo, it is crazy how much fun mm. it is. You got to play it to understand it, guys. Yeah. You got to understand. You got to play it to get it. So please, like I said, I said it for 10,000 times. I'm going to say it one more time. You know, go over to one of your friend's house, whatever the case is. Give it a chance. Because I guarantee that if you give it a chance, if you don't like it, you know, whatever. That's fine. Everyone has their own taste. So, but give it a chance. Go over to one of your friends' house and give it a chance. I guarantee you'll love it. Like playing with people online, it's crazy fun. Playing with friends, crazy fun. Just yes, give it a chance, please. Oh Lord Jesus, give it a chance. You'll have lots of fun. I guarantee you'll have lots of fun. Whether you like it or not, you'll have lots of fun. Um. Okay. So, uh, what I would like to ask for the last question. Uh, this is. A simple question, I guess, if you have anything to say, Star you, I kind of do, but um, any tips for players in Splatoon? Uh, do you have any sage advice you'd like to give to people? You already mentioned a little bit on Urchin Underpass, I guess, or I think you were mentioning an Urchin Underpass. At some point you were, but uh, yeah. tips for Splatoon people, uh, players. Uh, my best my best tip is go for the center, like the middle of the stage, Um Salt Spray Rig is a unique one since, I mean, the entire stage is almost a middle. Um, but don't try to cover up the um, stage. Don't try to cover up the, the turf around you when you're first starting off. like Because the middle is, like, where you guys converge. So if you can get all that ink from the middle, your team can, can continue to advance forward. Um, and then if, if you die, you can just cover up uh, as you go along. You can cover up more of your area. Uh, closer to spawn because it, it it just gets really difficult otherwise uh this is of course only in turf war like splat zones you're gonna go towards the middle because that's where the um thingies the little zones are but turf war that's uh probably the best bet uh for a success um my advice that that's actually really good advice so so yes great advice great advice um what advice can i really give um hmm what I would say is that make sure that, you know, you are actively trying to kill the other team members. You don't know how much that helps. Literally killing them and sending them back while they're respawning, sending them back to, the, to the, their start, that's going to drastically affect them big time. That's going to affect the team big time. That's someone who's not going to come after you. That's someone who's not going to have... It was, that's, good. that's someone who, for at least five seconds, five seconds plus, like, like six seconds or whatever... That's five seconds plus where you have a chance to cover up their ank areas and things like that. So make sure that, you know, whether you're a shooter or whatever the case is, a roller, whatever. But shooter, shooters have it a lot easier. But hmm. whatever, make sure that you are actively killing your rivals if you have the chance. If you have the chance, go on and kill them. Because when you kill them, that's, that's, time, that's extra time that you have to cover up more areas, cover up their areas, and things like that. So... That that's just my piece of advice. Um, I I would totally agree because, but of course, don't aim to kill people. Like, that's I mean, of course you want to as you, if you can, but if you go out and kill people in turf war, it's gonna be real difficult to actually cover the turf because that's actually a thing that people sometimes forget that the aim, uh, the aim to win is covering the landscape rather than murdering everybody though it definitely helps because um if you get more people you can advance further on if they're becoming difficult just make sure if you got make sure you also spread out that's a really big thing because yes especially if um that you're the other teams advancing towards you guys if you all go towards even a slightly similar path they will get you it's um Certain ones, like Arowana Mall, is probably one of the most difficult ones to get forward to because if they can get up close to spawn, they are really, really annoying. Port Mackerel is another one like that, but yeah, uh, if if you don't if you don't split up, you guys are gonna get inked, splatted, splat. Um. So, I mean, do you have any other general thoughts for Splatoon? Uh, I think I pretty much said everything on the previous question. I I just think that people need to just try this game out and just you know experience it because you know 
I feel like because I've I've the only reason why I keep talking about it is because like my friends in real life like they're they're like they were like that they were like oh well, Michael that's my name in real life in case you don't know Michael you know the game you know it's so boring to watch I'm like but you know it's a game that you, I'm like I, I keep telling them like you know it's a game you gotta play and when the first time they played it you know they freaking we were supposed to watch a movie they we didn't even get to freaking watch a movie because like they freaking just wanted to keep playing the game you know it, it, that's how fun it is you just need to play it to get it. You know, it's, it's just a game that you need to play. So please, you know, just give the game a chance. Play it. I don't want to hear, oh, I, I watched the game and I'm bored as hell. So, you know, I don't want to give the game a chance. None of that nonsense. Take that stuff out the front door. Take out, take out the trash. Whatever the case is, you take that out. The balcony. No, don't throw things out your balcony. Don't do that. No, stop. If you do that, that's your own, that's your own thing. No, I, I never Unless encourage it's in you the that. backyard, then it's fine. Yeah, in the backyard, it's different. But it, no, don't you ever do that when, like, you're in an apartment. Don't, don't be stupid. But, yeah. you know, just give the game a damn chance. You know, I guarantee that, you know, you'll have fun. Even if you, even if you're not too keen on it, playing it all the time, I still think that you will have lots of fun. Also, I love Walleye Warehouse. That's a really good course. I forgot to mention that. Um, my final thoughts on the game are a uh, really good game. It's, I, it's not even. It's definitely a game that if you watch it, you're not going to get the full experience. But it's also a game where it's not like as it's not a game where you like you have to play it more and more to get have fun. As soon as you start playing that game, it's just enjoyable to the max man um the only thing i think i don't like about it is uh uh you can't really get weapons um like when you start off the game you get a okay weapon and actually people still use it like uh, it's called the splash shot junior and it's one of the few early on weapons that people still use um because it has a unique uh format like it's a really rapid fire weapon and it also has uh, the bubbler, which is a shield, which is fun to use. But aside from the point, um, it's just, it's a really good game. I don't I don't think anybody should really skip out on it unless you don't like shooters at all. And I didn't like shooters at all, so I guess there's that, that there's also that opportunity as well. Yep. So, so don't, definitely, of course, don't uh, put a blind eye to it because this game has exploded pretty much worldwide. And I don't think Nintendo suspected it, even though I was... I really liked the game from almost the beginning, so, yeah. Um, with that, since that's the end of our Splatoon discussion, we have a little bit of news to discuss. Um, E3 is also just around the corner, for those of you mentioning. I think, are we doing an E3 Predictions podcast next week? Um, yes, we are going to be having an yes. E3 Predictions podcast next week. Um, I don't know who's going to be there, I don't know who's hosting. I think me and Soul are going to be there. That's yeah, the only I, thing that we can say for sure. But we don't know who else will be there. But, you know, it's still going to be lots and lots of fun. We're still going to talk about our predictions and whatever the case is. It's going to be great. I have mine already, or at least some of them already planned out because I've been, like, studying Nintendo's, like, movements. I'm like, I think I know what they're going to do. Yeah, well, I'm always right with like, when it comes to the predictions. Always. So, all, I'm always right. So, technically... Star-y's predicted Splatoon, guys. Like, I predicted Splatoon. Like, everyone was so shocked when I said that there's going to be a game where you have to fire ink. And, like, squid. and you turn into a squid. I'm like, you're a kid now. You're a squid now. Like, I'm picturing it. And I said that earlier. No one believed me. And then, as time went on, y'all saw. So, just... When I say my predictions, please right. just listen in because I'm always right. Because I know Boo and the others, they get mad because they're like, oh, why are you always right, Spider Star? You or for Boo, he calls me Honey Bunches. I'm like, I'm sorry. It's just I, ha- I, I know when I see all. I just, I just see this happening. So, whatever I say for the predictions, make sure that you're listening in, like with a really like you know listening in with your ear because you need to hear it because I'm, I'm always right. Yeah. He totally is always right. Um, but of course, look forward to the E3 predictions podcast because usually they're one of my favorite episodes to be in, as well as the normal E3 ones. But um, there has been news aside from Splatoon this week. Um, Lucas, a long favorite character of Smash Brothers from Brawl, we've already been conf- or known that he's coming in the game but we got a release date i think it said the 14th yes Was june it, uh, 14th june he is coming out um all the same pretty much the same i think he has some like probably has a little bit of changes but good he's more kill back. moves yay um there's also the meverse stage coming out um june 14th I'm a little disappointed that not the meverse stage i'm disappointed that we still have not got the tournament mode 
if if we, I, I think that I think it, since um the E three is after or no before this, I think we're gonna no it's not E three is sixteenth I think. Yes, E three oh, is gosh. happening on the sixteenth. Oh lame. Then okay, because tournament mode I don't know when it's coming out and we've been promised it and it's almost a year now. I mean not really, but I mean come on Nintendo, I want to play as tournament mode. That'd be so fun. Um. But for now, we're getting Lucas, which, hooray. And we are getting that Miiverse stage, which I think I'm definitely going to be playing on a lot. Because I like oh, yes. how you can see people's drawings of char- the characters on the battlefield supporting everyone. I think that was a really unique uh Definitely a great reason. idea. I just don't know why they waited so long. Maybe because there were some problems with the stage, so they didn't want to release it just yet. Also because the um, Miiverse stuff wasn't really like crowded as it is now. So they wanted more stuff to fill out the Miiverse. I guess. Oh, and we're also going to be getting Splatoon outfits. Yeah, well, I, I, I think um, you can actually get them already. I still haven't put in the code, but if you pre-ordered Splatoon, you could get them via, I think it's just from GameStop. Um, but they're 75 cents per costume, or I think $2. Oh, you can get them now? No, no, no. If you had, if you pre-ordered the game, Splatoon, oh. you got a code. But otherwise, you have to pay for them and wait. BS at its finest. Yeah, I. They're okay. They kind of have creepy me's representing them, even though they're supposed supposed to look like this inklings from Splatoon. But I mean, they're kind of creepy. I like the wigs. They have the orange girl wig and the blue boy wig, and then they have the um, ink like the green squid inkling version hat as well, which uh, mirror the amiibo from Splatoon, which I thought. That, oh, you know, maybe those inklings actually also make the costumes, but no such luck. I think it would have been more great if an inkling was playable, but you know, it's still really cool that we're getting this. It's just a um, fun little thing. Uh, uh, I was just gonna, I was gonna say, uh, make sure that those also, those also come out on June 14th, if you guys didn't know. But, um, one thing I wanted to discuss that I am still upset about just because i haven't been able to get any wave for amiibo yoshi's woolly world um people have been getting it since i think it's out in europe or something like that or japan or something or people have been previewing it in europe something like that but amiibo functionality is for has been confirmed with the game but what they do is um each amiibo unlocks a costume because there's a costume in every um stage that you can lock but then you get a costume mirroring mirroring said amiibo so if you put in the pac-man one you get a pac-man yoshi you put in the uh rosalina one you get a rosalina theme yoshi kirby one you get an all pink yoshi samus one etc some of them are kind of ugly i don't like the samus one in particular Uh. but uh but i'm just like oh come on nintendo and i know i won't be able to get these um the ones coming out next month the kid icarus ones that i really want because if you guys didn't know i'm a huge fan of kid icarus uprising but um i'm upset i'm really upset uh, I mean, Nintendo, why are you doing this when nobody can get these Amiibo? I mean, wow. of course you can get Mario, Peach, and Samus, and Pikachu, but we can't get Villager, and Ness, and Lucina, and Robin, and... Uh. Well, you know, at least they're going to be releasing cards soon, that's so... They pretty much have the same purpose. I don't want purpose. to, though. I want the oh. Amiibo. Nobody wants the cards. Like, oh, well, I, I just don't know the answer for you then, Soul, because those the they're going to be gonna sold out. Them. You know, they're sold out everywhere. Nintendo make more, please. You're just being mean now. You're not getting any money from just people, like, waiting. Because you know if you made more, people would buy more. True tea. True tea. Um, uh, also, we had a couple games announced in Japan and then thoroughly announced through America the day after. With Mini Bill Trinan, oh my gosh. I didn't watch it. I was too tired to do it. didn't watch it. Um, Mini Bill Trinan, I swear, that was just like, that was like, it was so bizarre, but it was like kind of cute in a way. I don't even know how, but it was like, it was just, I was watching this, I'm like, what is going on? (laughs) Bill Trinan is like this tiny little thing. I'm like, what the hell? This is so cheesy. It's just so bizarre, but it was, it was kind of cute, I guess. Some of the games that announced um, include Mario and Sonic at the Rio 2016 Games. Boo! Um, uh, who is it? I think Jet the Hawk and... Rouge the Bat. Yes. No, Rouge the Bat's already in there. But um... What? She was in there before. She... Oh, she was in... I played the game... I think she was a rival character 
but she's playable. And I think they added new Mario characters, which I don't remember what they are. Um, they added oh, Nabbit, Nabbit was one of them. and um, who was the other one? Diddy? Diddy Kong? Oh my gosh. Yeah, Nabbit oh, and wait, Diddy. That correct. Um, yeah, they announced that game, a Dr. Mario game for 3DS. Yes, I pre-ordered that. Um, it includes both Dr. Luigi and Dr. Mario. Um, it's Dr. Mario Miracle Cure, where basically you fill up your, you get, you freaking solve all this damn germ crap, you get rid of them, you demolish them with the medicine, and then eventually, once you get your score high enough, you'll get this Miracle Cure where you get some type of, you know, it's basically some type of thing that helps you clear this stuff quicker, or it can damage your opponents. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I'm not so much into Dr. Mario, but hooray. Um... Uh, Chibi Robo, uh, they have a new game coming out for it in Japan, as well as a Chibi Robo Amiibo. Oh, Chibi Robo is so thing. cute. I think that was an interesting thing for them to do. I did not expect Chibi Robo all games to get it. Yeah. We don't even have a Legend of Zelda. <coughs> Sorry. A Legend of Zelda line, but we have a Chibi Robo Amiibo. I am going to be getting Chibi Robo when it comes out. I probably will not, because I don't. Also, Chibi Robo to. for Smash Brothers. Yes. Make it happen. I mean, Chibi Robo for Smash Brothers. Woo. Even though I don't care. Um, other things include um, Mighty Number no. 9 confirmed to come out, I think, this September. I think they may have even given a specific date, but I don't remember. Um, if you guys are interested in that, uh, look forward to the game coming out very soon. I think it, it's, it is coming out for Wii U. Don't worry about that. But I think <laughs> we're even getting a um, like full release, like, I don't know how much it actually costs, but it might be a little more pricey than normal. So that's um, interesting. I'm fine with that, but I mean, it's sad at the same time. Like, come on now. Um, I believe that's all the news that uh, was announced this week. There are a few other games announced from that Nintendo Direct, but I don't think any of them were that important important compared to the games we've mentioned prior. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so I guess we will move on to what you've been doing, which might be short for both of us but i don't know do you want to go first or shall i uh you go first okay um i haven't been doing much uh finals are this week and i felt really sick and i still am a little sick on friday i didn't have a final thank god on friday but i did um wednesday i had my performance part of my theater uh final Ooh. Um, which i did really good on of course uh and then what was it thursday i did my biology one which i'm pretty sure i passed Good job. Uh, and, yay. Uh, and then Monday, I have the written portion of my theater exam. And as well as my, uh, on Tuesday, I have my language arts one, or English one, which I'm not really good at English ones because it's just reading a whole bunch of pas- passages and then answering a whole bunch of questions, and I hate it so much. Ugh, it's awful. Um, uh, what else have I been doing? I hang out with friends, and then they canceled on me, and I was kind of sad because I have to go get rides from everybody, and they all hung out, and then they, like, basically, story goes, I couldn't get a ride home from them, so I had to get a ride home from another friend, and then they all hung out at my friend's house, and I was supposed to go, but they say, hang on, not yet, my parents aren't home, and I was like, oh, when are they coming back? And go, six. So I didn't get to, I only hung out with them for three hours, and it was kind of sad, and then they ordered a pizza, and then I couldn't get any pizza. Oh, that, that is horrible. I would have... It was actually distraught, and I said, next time you guys do this, I get to, you have to, like, tell me. I, and they might be, I think they might be hanging out Tuesday, so I'm like, y'all have to give me a ride. Like, that's fine. Yes, and pizza as well, or, or some type and of fast pizza. food, some type of food, period. Please. Um, what else? Oh, I went fishing with them, and during that, and I caught a couple fish. Then I accidentally hooked someone, and I felt really bad, so I didn't do it anymore. Oh, and, you actually uh, caught a I, fish? I caught a cat. The, um, that lake, this pond, is filled with fish. It's right by her neighborhood. I have no idea why fish love to swim in there, but my friend even caught, like, this huge fish, but it flew off the hook, and he, like, we saw it, and, like, so we all, like, no, we all kept making jokes, like, um, uh, so my friend caught one of these really small fish, and we go, oh, at least it's not, his name is Cody, at least it's not as small as, uh, Cody's fish, and he just, he just look over <laughs> there. And it's because, it, I mean... It was funny because we're all like, oh my gosh, because um, it's a special type of hook that they, or, or bait that they use where it's shaped like a worm, um, and it's like brightly colored instead of actually being a worm, um, and it's meant to catch bigger fish. I don't understand the science behind that, but there's something behind it, and he almost caught one. It was the only fish he pretty much caught that day, but he didn't catch Poor it. Poor Cody. Yeah. 
Um, what else did I do? I mean, I haven't been here for two weeks. I babysitted, babysat, and I got money for it. But then I just paid, used that money to pay for Splatoon um, and the Amiibo. Uh, which, the Amiibo, by the way, look so well done. I love them a lot. Um, I haven't been able to get any other Amiibo, and I probably won't be unless I get those Kid Icarus ones coming out next month. But I honestly don't see myself finishing the Super Smash Bros. collection, which I really wanted to do. Um, I'm sad. I will also, I think I'm going to be getting Yoshi's Woolly World, but I don't think I'll be getting it. I mean, it's not coming out until September, I don't think. So, um, I just, I really wish that, uh, that Splatoon, not Splatoon, wow, Yoshi's Woolly World, uh, was it, th uh, coming sooner? Because I think it's coming out in Japan, blah, blah, blah. This is from the point, I haven't actually been doing much, just, I have to study for my English final, I think. I don't even know how I'm going to do it, but I need practice somehow. All right, 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 okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, um... All right, all right. Oh, Lord Jesus in heaven, what I've been doing, um, I've been playing Splatoon, yes! Well, that too, I've been doing that. I've been being a squid, you know, dealing with people from you-know-where, knocking me out. Goodness, I had a problem with you-know-who last week, uh-uh. Wait, you-know-who? Uh-huh, you-know-who. Who's you I don't know you know who. You know who. I don't know. Well, you do know, know who. who. Ew, is it that who? Mm-hmm, it's that who. As the impression who? Who? <laughs> As the impression? Um, no. It's someone oh. else. I'll tell you later. Um, oh, I think I know who it is, though. That, Ew, it was gross. just... Yeah, but I was playing with people from NPL, and y'all are too good. All right, and I just want to do a shout-out to... Shout-out to Paul. Not, not, Paul. not, um, you know, not E3 Paul. The Paul Smash Coin. You know, even though at I times, know you know, Paul, you get on my nerves. I'm Mark her eight. Oh my gosh! You know, on Splatoon, you are very, very good. You know, you were clocking all sorts of tea. You were just beating people really badly. No, he was really good. That's not. I don't mean any shade. Like I he know, was really, really good. Um, and there were some other people as well who were really good. I forgot their names. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it was just last week, and I, I can't remember. Um, what else has been going on? Like for real. Um. I've been playing Banjo Kazooie. Um, Ooh. I I did Free Z Z. Um, what's it called? Oh God, let me look this damn thing. Free Z Z Cave, I think it's called. I don't even mountain know. boy. If you don't know, I don't know. Free, I don't know. I don't play Banjo. It's Free Z Z Peak. Free Z Z Peak. I know it's called Free Z Z, but I didn't remember. Peak, peak Cave Mountain Icicle. You know. Free Z Z Peak. Yeah. Um, did you tell Boo or S Z? No, I haven't. I haven't talked to them in like a week. Um, they be happy. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I, they just been busy. I've been busy. I haven't talked to them in a week. Um, so I've been. Pl I I've been playing banjo, and this level is my favorite. It's Christmas themed. There's a giant snowman. You have to climb up the little scarf, and it was. It's so cute and it's so awesome. It's like you're just climbing up the, the snowman scarf. It's a giant snowman going to snowman's hat, the snowman's face, the snowman's nose, the snowman's broom. Um, th but the one thing I don't like about this level is that these damn snowmen, the evil snowmen, they're evil tiny snowmen, they throw snowballs at you, if you get hit, you just, oh, you just, abyss, you go, you fall into the abyss, but you know, ultimately, you know, I really love this level, free ZZ Peak, you know, just really good, you know, Christmas theme, love Christmas theme, love, the, love lighting the tree, like giving the kids the presents, it's a great level. Um, I did Clanker's Cavern, which was the level before this, and that took me a while, but I did it, got 100%. I almost 100%ed the Free ZZ Peak, but, you know, you need to wait till you get these shoes from one, from a, a, the love, the next level. I know you don't know what I'm talking about, you're, look, you're probably thinking like, what I have the no hell? idea what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, but people who play Banjo know what I'm talking about. I gotta get the shoes, and then once I, once I do get the shoes, I can go back to the other level and 100% it. Um, but other than that... I, yeah, Banjo. Um, what else has been going on? Oh my god. Puzzles and Dragons. Um, I'm at World... Oh, you got that game, did you? Oh, yes, I did. Uh, Banjo. Um, <laughs> Banjo. Uh, Puzzles and Dragons. <laughs> Puzzles and Dragons. Um, it's a really fun game. I love puzzle games. I'm, I think I'm pretty good at it. I My max combo was... Co was I got like 12. Like 12 combos. Congrats. Really, really good. Yes, thank you. I don't know what that means, but... Congrats. It just means that, you know, you got 12 combos in a row. Get, oh, you, I, basically, when you get three in a row, that's a comp, that that's 
that counts as one combo. So then you keep getting three, 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 three fire, fire, three water, three wood. You're just gonna keep getting combos, and I got 12, so I'm really good at the yeah. game. Um, I'm at like world two, almost done with world two. Then we go into world three, and there's cars honking outside. They need to stop, oh, or else I'm gonna like, go outside and just clock their teeth. Seatbelts, everyone. Yes. Oof. I cannot stand going on these. Oh my god, these cars be acting crazy outside. I swear. Every time I film a podcast, I have to close the door because these cars will be honking so damn loud. I'm like, oh my god, calm down. But it's really hot today, so I needed. The, I need my door open. I need to get the fresh air because I'm a. I, I, please, I need fresh air. Other than that, not much else has been going on. Yesterday was my mom's birthday. We went somewhere for my mom's birthday, someone else's house. Um, got pizza, got Domino's, whatever the case is. Yes, got my cheese pizza. Got my Parmesan bites. Yes. Yay. Love that juicy goodness. Um, but yeah, other than that, oh, whoops. <laughs> I just bang against my, 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 my parents' computer um, desktop and like the thing just opened. The slot just went... Um, other than that, not much else has been going on. Just Splatoon, just Banjo, just Puzzle of the Dragons. That's pretty much it. Nothing of interest in my personal life that I wish to discuss. I have my own secrets. But, um, yeah, not, not much else has been going on. Um, with that, that is the end of the podcast. Let's get on to the ending information. Uh, you can subscribe to us and rate us on iTunes. Please rate us on iTunes. We'll give you the biggest hug, the biggest kiss, the biggest splatter shot in the world yes we'll just squirt you with ink um you can also follow us uh on well you can find us on mariopartylegacy.com but our specific website the lost levels dot com, to keep you posted on all things lost levels podcast um also there's the forum which most of us are on the uh, mariopartylegacy.com slash forum uh Lot, you'll see a lot of stuff there. There's a lot of different people. We'll, we sometimes mention members from the podcast. But um, going on MarioPartyLegacy.com or the forum, there, we have community nights. We've done a Splatoon one rather recently. I wasn't in it because I've been busy. But uh, I think we're probably having one this week as well. So uh, we'll probably have one next week or maybe a Smash Brothers one. Uh, but stay tuned. Um, but as for me, you can follow me on Tumblr, Greninja.tumblr.com. Or, uh, Meverse, which I need to get back on, uh, C-O-M-P-E-T-E, Compete. Um, I am everywhere in this world. I'm in the sun, I'm in the ground, I'm in the lamp Jeez. beside you, I'm in the glass beside you, I'm, in, I'm just everywhere. Um, I am Spider Star. you on YouTube, Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, Nintendo Network, and Google+, Plus. all those sites, Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, Nintendo Network, Google+, Plus. all of them, it's all Spider Star. you. Thank you, everyone, for liking my Facebook page. I recently got 650 likes. Whoa. All right, you guys are just the sweetest, most bodacious people. Why does it say 1,118 likes? From what? (laughs) Oh, oh, what the hell? 1,000? It says 1,118 likes. On your Facebook? Yes. Where did you get all these from? Oh, my God. Hey, whoever's listening to the podcast, if you guys, like, shouted out Staryu and just sent all your minions to Staryu, we'd love to know. Please. I mean, because I have no idea why this is happening. What? And eight, go on my Facebook page right now, so type in Facebook.com slash Spider Staryu. I'm really, I'm, like, doing this right now. Literally, Facebook this is, like, so bizarre. <laughs> okay. Oh, my wait, God. Spider Staryu. Spider Staryu. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, wait, why'd you, so, let me see all these people, um... Sorry that we're kind of just going up randomly yeah, on Facebook. Yeah, well, well, me and we solo just end this. Yeah, uh, just thank you so much for all the likes. Yes. This is crazy. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, my gosh. 1,118 oh likes. <laughs> I'm so, oh, my God. I'm so happy. Yeah, we're, we're love to, we'd love to, you know, hang out with you guys. Uh, whoever's shouting to draw you out. Thank you so much. Please, if you're doing that, thank you so much. But, yeah, let's just end the podcast here. Yep. Um. So... Goodbye, everyone. Thank you everyone for watching, and stay, stay fresh. fresh. Yes. Yeah. Goodbye. Ooh. I'm Marie. Peace, Callie. Yes.